So when I started making this series and I was thinking of who are some guys that I should, you know, come up with, who are some guys that I should think about for, a, uh, you know, who are some good bust to kind of go over and see what we can learn from. The first one that came to my head was Mitchell Trubisky. Once I, you know, I already made one, uh, the Haskins. But after that, when I was thinking of more, I'm like, oh, Trubisky, of course, because he's just so fascinating. And how does this happen? Right. I remember at the time, a lot of people didn't love the move. This was this was a controversial decision at the time. And of course, him getting drafted before Deshaun Watson and Patrick Mahomes. Well, the Watson one doesn't look so bad now with all the allegations coming out. Uh, the Mahomes one, obviously, still horrible. And it really just becomes, why did they draft him? And I also find this so interesting because he's not a complete bust. Like, he has some value. He's not a complete out of the league in two years type of guy. Now, he's currently a backup, so it's not like it's going great for him. But, you know, still, uh, he's a quality backup quarterback so there's a little bit of still a little bit of good some stuff that is nfl level just not enough to make him a starter he's really interesting and so let's just get into the film study let's watch some uh games of north carolina and see what they saw in him because if i'm being honest i'm still not fully sure like i still he's the first guy that i watched and i'm like yeah i'm not really sure what uh the chicago bears were thinking too much like right here this is one of the first plays i saw once starting to watch tape which is uh, it's going to be zone coverage and you see the receivers running a route that's eventually going to get open sort of towards the end of the route so it's not going to be open immediately but you know spoiler alert it is going to eventually get open and watch so trubisky takes a snap he fakes the handoff and eventually finds the receiver throws deep and this is wide open right this isn't just a little bit open uh this is something that you just you have to hit this throw quite frankly and not only is Trubisky going to miss this throw but watch how badly he misses it I mean that was just wild not even close so you know already not off to a great start right there for Trubisky so the accuracy thing certainly a problem in college just like it was in the NFL this one's another good example of a bad play where what's going to happen is it's man coverage and the route he wants to hit is just a halfback route very simple route and honestly you can throw it over there pretty quickly because again it's man coverage so you know, it's not really going to give too much time for anyone else to get over there because they'll probably have their back turned. But once his play starts, Trubisky, I, I would say he takes a little bit too long if he wants to make this throw. I think part of him maybe wanted to throw to someone else, but that other player was open that he was looking at. So I'm not really sure exactly what's going on. Now he's deciding to make this throw. But if you want to make this throw, the ball probably has to be already leaving your hand now. And it has to be a bullet because the reality is there you're running out of time, right? He, there's you're running out of space since the player who was defending your halfback was a little bit further off to start, but now he's closing that ground. However, Trubisky makes this throw anyways, and it's a pick six. I mean, that's just a, a dumb decision, quite frankly, to make that throw and also to you know put that much air under it. That's one of the easier pick sixes you'll ever get, and it's really not necessarily a great defensive play. It's just a bad play by the quarterback. And you would also see something like this, where it's going to be zone coverage, and you have a player running over the middle. It's going to be a play action. So this is a play that is going to work by the way so just throwing that out there right now but it could work a little bit better and again this is kind of what i talk about where you really have to pay very close attention to a lot of these details sometimes when evaluating a quarterback because it's very easy to miss some stuff and what you're going to see here is how he kind of uses his eyes to get himself and his teammate into trouble because on a play like this really it would have been much better for trubisky to sort of look to his right if he's planning on throwing over the middle just to do that when you do that, it can kind of get players to stay further away and you could open up things over the middle. Watch once this play starts, uh, you're going to see that there, you know, is clearly an opening over the middle. The sky's wide open, but uh, I've circled a defensive player in black right there. So I've circled him and really he's the guy who, if I feel like if Trubisky was looking closer to the top of the screen, then he would run over there and you'd be opening things up over the middle, but instead Trubisky is just staring down his receiver, which is going to allow this Miami defender to kind of read the play and get back in it a little bit. Now, as you see, it doesn't end up mattering. It almost does, but it doesn't. But that's my point is that he put himself in position to fail a little bit. And in the NFL, when he did that, it wouldn't work out. It would work out horribly. So now you may be wondering, well, Jackson, if everything he did was so poor, then why did he get drafted? And I have a couple of thoughts. I mean, you know, again, it's hard. I don't want to just completely sit here and use hindsight to say, oh, what a mistake. And, you know, uh, I'm not sure exactly when I'm posting all of these. This is my fourth one of these videos that I'm recording. I might post it a little bit earlier than that. 
But all the other ones, I, I saw it. I get why a mistake was made. I can see it. This one is a little bit more difficult. I think I can still see it to some degree, though. Like, you would see something like this. It's uh, sort of a mid-range throw, but it's going to be a man play, cover two man. You have a player running over the middle. So maybe that uh, it's not necessarily the highest degree of difficulty, but it is going to be a good throw. Like, as you see, Trubisky takes the snap. And look at the throw. Very accurate, very well-timed. Uh, so they get the first down on that one. That was absolutely a good throw. Not something that's going to wow you, but still good. And I think that's maybe something they looked at. You also have something like this, where it's going to be a cover two zone, and you have a receiver who's running a go route on the bottom of the screen. So typically, there usually is kind of some separation just you know, in front of the safety, but it usually takes a very difficult throw for this to be made. There's usually not that much separation, although spoiler spoiler alert, there is going to be a bit more on this play. But watch how right when this play starts, you know, again, a bit of separation, Trubisky makes this throw, and it's just a thing of beauty. I mean, that's incredible, and you're probably thinking, man, where, where was that in the NFL? That's a great throw. So part of it is just throws look better in college than in the NFL because guys are more open. But another part of it is because, as I mentioned, Trubisky does have an NFL arm. He doesn't have a great NFL arm, but he has an arm that can get him into the NFL. I mean, you know, it's been fine for him with the Bears. Like, he hasn't been great. But if he was drafted in the second round, people would have said, hey, good draft pick. So it's not like they were, I mean, they were way off. But the difference between a second round quarterback and a number two overall quarterback is huge. But I'm just saying that, like, he's not this awful quarterback prospect by any means. He just was never something that I think was going to be great. And so that's why the number two pick kind of is confusing. And part of it almost makes me wonder if they just got blown away by some highlights, especially his rushing highlights. I didn't really get into that here. But I mean, you guys know, you've watched Trubisky. We all know that he can move and he's really good at scrambling, keeping plays alive. And he was even better at that in college. So I do wonder if that was a bit of it of just people liked that. His pocket presence is very good, which is something that I like to talk about a lot. And so I think that this was probably just sort of ignoring the bad because you love the good so much. But the reality is the bad was too bad. He was too inaccurate to play at the NFL level. And his arm was fine, but it's not big enough, really, to play at the NFL level either. And he makes too many mental mistakes in the throwing game. So, you know, he's good at everything except for the parts that involve throwing the football, which means that he, you know, probably isn't going to be a great quarterback. Not an awful one either. But I think that's really, that's why the Bears drafted him. And that's also the mistake there is don't focus on the highlights. You got to pay attention to the bad stuff too. You got to pay attention to, all of it. So that's something you can take with and learn. If I'm trying to think of like, what's another example of that? It's it's kind of hard. I feel like there isn't necessarily a great example uh, if I had to pick one, just because I feel like maybe you could say Justin Fields a little bit, but not really, because uh, Fields is definitely a better prospect than Trubisky was. From what I've seen, again, I didn't watch Trubisky. Uh, I didn't evaluate him. This was before my time. This is before I was YouTubing. So I, I, I don't know. It's uh, it'd be unfair for me to completely sit here and say like, oh, I knew he would would have busted because I knew he would have. I already knew he was a bust before I started watching his college tape. It's unfair, but that's kind of what makes this fun is using the power of hindsight to figure out exactly what went wrong and why the mistake was made. Uh, and so yeah, uh, <laughs> you know, controversial opinion. I think they should have drafted Mahomes there, but that's what I think. Uh, well, no, every, I'm not, I almost said, what do you think? You, we all think that, but that's what I think about Mitchell Trubisky. What do you guys think about him? Am I right? Am I wrong about the evaluation? Or is there something else that I completely missed? Uh, definitely feel free to put that in the comments below. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.